What's going on, everybody? We are back. Ethan's here opening packs. And boy, oh boy, do I have some news for you. Yep. So the Sword and Shield era of Pokemon cards is coming to an end. <clears throat> the Paldea versions are going to start coming out at the end of March. March 31st, to be exact. And today, they broke the news that the classic yellow borders from the American sets are going away. Okay. They're... They're going to be going to gray borders like the Japanese sets. Much better, much better. If any of you haven't seen the gray border cards, they look like this. All right, I'm going to put it up at this face cam. Ooh. Right, and now I'm going to move them down under here real quick. Whoa. Right, gray border cards. In my opinion, the gray border cards look much nicer than the yellow border cards. Okay. It's a cleaner presentation, more cohesive, whole thing all around, just better. Imagine this with gray borders, that'd be cool. Now, that's not the only change that's coming around. They're also going to get rid of the American set symbols and change it to the same way that the Japanese sets work. So, for example, rather than having like a little crown or a little lightning bolt, it's going to have this where it says that S8 Bravo there, and that's going to indicate which set you're opening. Instead of gear opening. Now, more changes, even more changes. They're going to bring the cards closer into parity with the Japanese sets, and what they're going to do is they're going to get rid of altogether non-hollow rares. So every rare will be hollow from here on, which means every pack will have a hollow from here on, and not only is there going to be one hollow per pack, there's going to be three foil cards per pack. So there's going to be a reverse, a hollow, and then a final slot that's either going to have another reverse or some other special kind of card. Maybe trainer gallery, uh, art rare, something to that effect. Uh, and then to take it even a step further, they announced that all elite trainer boxes in the Paldea era will come with full art promo cards. So the Sword and Shield era, not every Elite Trainer box came with a promo card. I think probably the most recognizable one is the... Charizard from Champions well, Path. Well, Charizard from Champions Path. But then there's also the VMAX EV from Shining Fates, which, like, those are all over the place now. But that's a cool bonus right um it's not just some junky little folder or the dice or the damage counters you're guaranteed to get that full art trainer so these are huge changes coming up um what do y'all think about about the gray borders uh me personally it's the right move it should have happened a long time ago they're 23 years late on this change um <laughs> The yellow borders really detract from the art, like especially on full arts or trainer galleries or whatever. Um, so drop a comment. Uh, let me know. Let us know. What do you think about these changes? I think it's huge. I think it's exciting. I think it's a, a great step in the right direction that should have been taken a long time ago. Um, unfortunately, it looks like the pulls here haven't been too great. Um, we got a Suyin Arcanine V and a whole bunch of white, a whole bunch of white coat cards. Uh, but that's okay. This is more about the news than it is about the cards today. I'm excited. He's excited. Hope you guys are excited too. Thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe on your way out. And let us know what you think. Bye.